Hey hey! Thanks for slithering in and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are working on a round tiny home. Um, finally using the round wall tool that we got a little while ago in a base game update. Um, this was right before the high school years expansion pack came out and honestly I've played around a little bit with round walls don't think I've posted any builds where I've used them yet, so this would be the first one, and this is just a round, it's a round home. Like, who wouldn't want to live in a circle home? Well, I don't know. If, if the tool is buggy, like it is in The Sims 4, then maybe not, but this build is completely play-tested for once I actually play-tested, play um... And I don't normally do that, but I did it for this one because I wanted to make sure that it was working and it wasn't bugging out too much if anyone wanted to download it. So it is up on the gallery. Uh, my gallery ID is Simderin, as same as it is here. So if you enjoyed this build, enjoyed this channel, yada yada yada, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, yeah, but I can't take credit for the idea of this build because I mean first off a lot of game changers or EA creator network what do they call them now I don't know I can't keep track anymore but a lot of those simmers did round walls only build and it was pretty buggy once I watched but then I saw recently as of recording this, I think it was last week or something, but Luca, who is also a builder here on YouTube, posted a round tiny house, and his came out so cute. Um, I'm gonna try and link it down in the description below so you guys can go check it out, but I thought that was such a great idea, and then I was like, well, summer's almost over, you know, I'm about to go full-on fall mode because I've been, I have the itch. I have the fall itch, um, and I figure why not do one last huzzah here in Sulani, because I probably won't see this world until the end of winter when I start getting that summer itch because I'm tired of being cold. But right now I'm tired of being hot and I'm tired of using the air conditioner and yeah, right now we are using a lot of browns. And I end up not using all this brown. It ends up being a fairly colorful build, which I think a lot of my builds recently have been. I've been having fun playing with color more. Um, and I think once I turned everything to blue, the walls in here, that's when it all clicked. I think right here. Yep. Um, I couldn't close off the bathroom because of the way the round walls work. So... I can't remember, that's probably going to be a problem if you have someone else in the house with you, but this is for a single sim, so hopefully it's not too bad. If not, you can always build an outhouse, I guess, if, if that's what you want, but I thought the bathroom actually came out kind of cute. I really like this, using this tile, I think that's from the high school pack as well. I don't know. At first I had it in a peachy color, which I think I want to try using again some other time. So we'll see. Now I just got to figure out where the kitchen is. The layout took a minute to come together. I guess it didn't take that long, but because I just figured out where the kitchen is. Uh, but I definitely used my alt key to freely place these counters. I think I get some of those half tile counters to fill in the gaps. Um, I'm sorry for all the spinning. I should have edited some more of that out, but I'm just making sure nothing's peeking out on the outside of the build. And I actually did this a little backwards. I usually finish the landscaping first before I head on to the interiors, but uh, I didn't know how I wanted to landscape it yet. So I decided to try working out on the inside. I think my favorite part of this build is actually the bedroom and on the inside, it's actually probably the smallest part of the build. Um, it's literally just this little corner. So I used a single bed from Eco Lifestyle and that 
rug from Snowy Escape is it's one of my go-to's even after all this time I just I can't not use it um, and in a second I think I pull out the mirror from Jungle Adventure add some pink in here I'm using a lot of pinks and yellows oh or maybe I leave it with the yellow swatch I think I do the pink comes in the plant there from Blooming Rooms added some clutter because I freaking love clutter and above the bed I end up putting one of the tapestries that came with the high school years expansion pack and right here I'm struggling on trying to find out where it is but here it is I think I absolutely love it and I closed it off with the divider with the candles on it I think it's from spa day I'm pretty sure it's spa day but I think I'm gonna close it up and of course a little art corner art easel whatever and just cluttering it up I I love clutter if you're if you haven't been around clutter is my favorite um and I've actually been having a lot of fun so let me tell you guys something it's been a minute since I've posted a speed build right and I mean that's partially because I got sick for a little while and then I recovered and I think I still had some time but then I had to catch up on some work things and life got ahead of me because for a while I was I was in a rhythm pre-recording everything scheduling I was good and then I ran out um, but then I kind of became a little obsessed with posting on TikTok and I think I like posted one thing and it actually did pretty good like it did really good and I was like oh my god so then my issue is I hyper focus sometimes so I hyper focused a little bit on TikTok content and neglected a lot of the builds I was working on for YouTube so there's that I also had a minute where I was like feeling a little discouraged as far as where my YouTube journey where I am in my journey on YouTube um, because September sometime in September is my YouTube anniversary it's gonna be two years and whenever those anniversaries come along whether it's YouTube or in life you always look back and be like where was I where am I now that I hit my goals I didn't hit my goals but I know that's because I've had life stuff going on but I was really discouraged and my boyfriend basically was like, hey, no matter how many followers you have, subscribers, whatnot, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. And I legit have so much fun making these videos and building and coming up with ideas and yeah, so. But enough about that. We're in the kitchen. We're cluttering it up. Um, oh, but I was talking about TikTok. This is how my mind works. And yeah, TikTok, I got hyper focused, video did well. Then I started getting all these followers and I was like, oh my God, can I get to a thousand followers? And then I did. And then I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, and then after I hit a thousand followers, I had a couple of videos that maybe didn't perform as well, but you know, that's, that's life. That's the algorithm. Things pick it up. Sometimes they don't. And yeah, and then I built this, so it was fun. Anyway, how have you guys been? <laughs> okay, enough. More about the build. Um, we're just adding some more plants, a little clutter here. And like I said, everything is play tested. So did I play test the bed? I don't know, but it should work. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. And cause Judith Ward tested my build this time. I actually, she lost her celebrity fame because I tend to use her occasionally. Um, but I think we're almost done with the interior and we're actually going to move to the exterior in just a second. I do have another question for you guys real quick before we um, head into the exterior and finish up this landscaping. Um, I kind of want to add a little more diversity to my content. And by diversity, I mean maybe some gameplay. Um, every once in a while I get the itch to actually play the game, but I don't know. I think it'd be fun. So if that's something you want to see and you have any suggestions of what you want to see, go ahead and drop those in the comments below. 
On the exterior, we add a couple of fake shutters on somebody's windows using the eco lifestyle vertical or horizontal lines, whatever they're called. I feel like it added a bit of contrast and more interest to the build. Um, it's hard decorating round walls, at least on the exterior, but I thought a round little beach hut kind of fit pretty perfect in Solani, especially on this lot. Um, you got the water, you got a nice little place to lounge because I'm going to add some beach chairs and some towels. And Do I keep the beach chairs? Actually, I don't think I keep them, but you'll see that in a little bit because a lot of this stuff I didn't edit out. Actually, all of it, I did not edit it out. So is that something you guys like? Do you want to see more where I don't edit as much and you see more of the full process of me picking things out um obviously if it's gonna take too long with me picking things out because it could take a long time to pick out a table or a chair or something but if that's something you guys like to see let me know because i'll definitely keep that in mind when i'm editing future videos um yeah here we got the beach towels but um fast forward i made a little laundry nook on the outside i actually thought this was really cute um, so you can hang up your laundry and no one will see it. And oh, I think those are windows from Spa Day. And I kind of just made it look like they can open and close on their own. And I moved the beach, the lawn chairs over there. Um, the towels are closer to the water with some sunscreen clutter. I don't know, this is cozy. Um, part of me is going to miss summer, but I'm so ready for fall and autumn builds. If you have any suggestions for autumn builds, um, also throw those my way because I always need some ideas and um, I'd love to build anything you guys are thinking of so that I know someone's gonna wanna see it, you know? Um, it took me a minute to kind of put this little side beach area together. I think I add a tree and some landscaping and just keep that journey to Batu picnic table. I love that journey to Batu picnic table. Journey to Batu is honestly one of the best packs for some build by items. Uh, don't come at me. Uh, my friend Sierra, I know if you're here, I know you're with me on this, so high five. <laughs> anyway, we are wrapping this up. We're gonna go into the tour. And I hope you enjoyed this build. And if you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. And ring the bell for notifications for the next one. And yeah, you guys have a great day, great weekend, great month. And I hope you all had a wonderful summer and have a great fall. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Alright, bye!